Hey folks, Fernando doing our video for the Modern Survivalist and in this case showing you guys this very peculiar Mora knife. I mean, Moras are very well known in the community, survival preparedness, I mean these are basic um, staples in, in the world of knives and we pretty much all know about these, the clippers, the companion versions and such. This is quite interesting because this is pretty much that same philosophy, that, that same Scandi grind blade, but more of it, longer, and I honestly love it. I think this is this is fantastic. Uh, it's a, it's great value for the money. I, I think it goes for like twenty five bucks, give or take. And you know, I'll leave the link if I find it. Sometimes I do these videos before actually checking, but if I find it, I'll leave the link there below uh, for you guys to check it out in Amazon if you're interested. Um, if not, look around anywhere where you're used to buying. It is not as common. It is definitely not as common as some of the other uh, guess better selling models but I think that if you can get one of these it is absolutely worth it look the, the thing is this I, I wouldn't be the guy that obsesses over lightweight knives I think that if you're gonna be getting a, a, a knife it is one of the essential survival tools and you should get enough knife to get the job done you know uh, having said that I understand that different people have different needs now for someone that is looking for an ultra light survival knife this is this is fantastic. This is, if you want to get something that's super lightweight, yet a great survival knife, this would be the way to go. And I'm saying that in front of my beloved Glock knife, which I've said before, it's for me like the, it's the, the Glock of the knife world. Like the Glock pistol, the, the Glock knife does pretty much anything you need a knife, a knife to do. The thing with the Mora, and I want to get that number right, 731 uh, model, 731 uh, Mora, also seen as all, all round, like an all rounder, like a general purpose knife. The thing is, it's just that. It is a fantastic all rounder knife, uh, especially when you want to you know, lean more on the side of, I want something that's going to be cutting, cutting great. You know, your Glock knife is going to be taking a beating, it's going to be used as a bayonet, it's going to be a fantastic fighting knife now it's not gonna be a scandy grind knife the, the edge it's this one in particular is decent enough it's gonna be cutting paper you know I'll show you guys right now it's gonna be cutting paper w w without much of a problem and you know I haven't even actually touched this one up usually the ones I use most often will have a better edge than this but this is pretty decent this is not bad now for example this other because sometimes people think that because some of my knives look brand new that i don't actually use them the thing is i i often have several models of the same thing um so as to have spares and such um that's the reason why but it doesn't mean that i don't actually use my knives uh, but for example this one which is Fairly well used, you know, I guess we can agree on that. Fairly well used Glock knife. I actually broke the tip on this one and repaired it best as I could. But the edge is, you know, it, it's cutting very well. No, no problem there. But having said that, but the Scandi grind is without a doubt, especially the Mora Scandi grind is without a doubt better. It is just a, a, a laser beam of, of a knife. I could do this all day long and getting as thin as my pulse allows, but it, it is crazy how sharp this thing is. Anyone that handles ever a, a good Mora knows that. And that's what you're getting here, but you're getting just more of it. So I don't actually have my, my Mora Clipper or Companion or whatever the name is because it's, it's so minimalistic. I actually lost it and cannot find it no matter how much I've been looking. But, you know, as, as a compa for comparison's sake, like the, the, the Hulta Force, another great little knife. And yes, again, you know, Scandi Grind, super sharp little knife. Um, it, it just cuts. It is a strong knife. It's going to be taking quite a bit of a beating, but it is limited to that size, that blade length. So it's a fantastic cutting tool. You can even, I mean, I have one of these that's been the crap out of it in a shed that I've had for years. I, I've used it to do things that I, I'm ashamed of saying with that knife, cutting even, you know, pieces of metal, copper, anything that was, anything that was basically softer uh, than the 58, 60 or, or 60 Rockwell steel in the blade. I wouldn't have a problem with cutting and beating on it like a lunatic and the knife took all that, that like a champ but it has that you know limited blade range um, reach 
Um, here you have quite a bit more of that. It, it's just, you have just more knife and sometimes that's what you need. Now for people that obsess over having a lightweight knife, and again, that wouldn't be me. I think that I'd rather have enough knife to do what needs to be done rather than obsessing over how lightweight it is. I understand that for some people it is a thing. Case uh, example, the uh, famous K-Bar knife. The K-Bar knife was um, you know, fantastic knife in general, great historic knife. But one of the things that the troops liked from the go was how lightweight it was. And let's compare that for a minute here. You know, I'm using grams of weight and this is gonna be 280 grams. I could change that to ounces if feel makes you feel any better. Uh, so what is that, 10 ounces? Anyway, I'll go back to grams. 283 grams of weight. So it's a lightweight knife for a utility fighting knife, especially in, 90, in 1940, 42. That's a, a great weight. Um, you can go with something as light a, a, as this, which is ridiculously light. These are, and I think the clipper is actually lighter. This is like 80 grams, 70 something. No, let's say 80 grams of weight, super lightweight. Uh, but you have that limitation. The, the Bushcraft Black by Mora is, is around 110. Thing is, yeah, give or take around 110. And that is still very decent. It's one of the heavy duty type blades. It's a, it's a thicker stock. It's comfortable, good knife. It's a little bit better than the, the plastic stock because it has like, like that rubberized silicone material making it comfy and kind of sticky. Here you have all of that and more in a knife that's weighing uh, 115, 120. So basically for the same weight, maybe a, you know, a tad more, just you know, uh, minimal difference, you have just more of a knife. And so as to wrap things up here, what is it that I see here? Well, for the guy that wants to have super minimalistic, for whatever reasons I want, for whatever reasons, I just want to have a survival knife, but it has to weight nothing. It has to, be, it has to weight nothing at all. Usually that guy's gonna be going for a Mora. My little tip of the day here with this video, instead of getting the Mora, which is still a fantastic knife, your clipper, your companion, and companion heavy duty, or you know, even the, this one, the Bushcraft Black, which is great. Instead of going with that, I think that you're gonna be getting more knife with this model, the 731. Um, again, not as easy to come across, but you have more knife, and you have more of, um, you know, this is, and I'm saying this with the beloved Glock knife here in front, which is, in my opinion, maybe one of the best uh, survival all around knives you can have. But the Glock knife is definitely gonna be leaning more towards that fighting tactical type of knife. It's gonna be cutting, it's gonna be doing most of the things you need a knife for, and it's gonna be taking a beating like you know few other knives that I know of in this in the same category. But here you're gonna be having more of a cutting tool. So if you wanna go more on the uh, tactical fighting side, you could go here. If you wanna go more of a no, I actually wanna have something that's great at cutting. Here you have your knife. Here you have your knife because it's gonna be doing what your Scandi grind Mora does, which is basically what it is. But with this extra length, there's a few things that you'll be able to do that your clipper or companion will not. You will have a uh, you know greater reach for this stuff, the, the defense stuff that you know is maybe not as adequate as this, this is still perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using the word adequate because this is perfectly adequate for the fence. Maybe this is more specifically geared towards that and maybe this is more of the all-rounder, but let me tell you, I see how this knife can be used as a self-defense weapon like, you know, few other knives in this type of, uh, of, uh, of category. It is extremely lightweight and yet that reach, it is giving you Man, it is giving you the same reach. This is almost 15 centimeters, almost. It's almost giving you the same reach as, yeah, it's almost giving you the same reach as your Glock knife. 
you know, just a tad less. And I would even argue that I'm getting just a little bit less reach, but this thing is a laser beam. This thing, anything that you get in the way and you move sideways just a little bit, it's gonna be splitting someone like a fish. It is terrible, the damage you can do with this kind of insane sharpness. Yeah, you have your Mora uh, Scandi Grind Sharp blade in the length format, basically, uh, of a fighting knife. So, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty awesome for what it is. And the price is gonna be like 25 bucks. Glock is what, 30, 35? You know, both are great value. Made in Austria, made in Sweden. You're talking about quality stuff. You're not crappy Chinese knives. Steel is, I think they're using like a, a 1095. Sometimes I've read like like a, a 1080. Basically like a, um, a carbon steel, um, a, a solid carbon steel blade, which is fantastically well heat treated up to, I think it's like 59 Rockwell hardness, which is, you know, they do a great job with, with these blades. The only thing of course is, yeah, it's gonna be rusting, so be careful with that. I would actually prefer having it in, in the Sandvik stainless steel. That would have been even better in my opinion. So if you get that, you know, go with it, great. But if not, no concerns here. I love this thing. The sheath, you know, here it says, Made in Sweden, also super lightweight, a little bit of, of leather. This is so Swedish, you know, just a piece of plastic, couple <laughs> rivets, put leather, don't give a damn, and that's it. It has friction enough to keep it in place, it's not gonna be falling, and super affordable. It's not geared as a tactical survival knife, but let me tell you, this will excel at that role, especially for someone that wants to go super lightweight. Folks, that's all for now. Remember that if you're interested in this sort of content and more survival stuff, my book Street Survival Skills and the More Survival Manual available in the links below and I'll leave the one if I find it for the Mora Knife. Have an awesome day, see you on the next video. Take care.